Here's a uh, multiple building layout that I've done some pre-work just defining some walls and receptacles. What I'll do is I'm going to place a three-phase panel in this building and then we'll create a what we'll call a two-phase panel uh, where it has two hots in each of these separate buildings and those will be on each of the different phases from the three-phase panel. So the first thing is I'll just go ahead and place this first panel, three-phase panel, using one that's already loaded into this project. And by the way, this is the US Imperial um, Systems default template. Next, I'll go ahead and load from the electrical library, MEP, electrical power, distribution. There is this uh, single phase panel that we'll make some modifications to for this purpose. So I'll go ahead and place one of those in each of these three spaces. And then I'm going to modify this one. Instead of 120 volt single phase, I'll make this 208 volt. I'll call it two pole. 2882. And then I'll update these other two accordingly. There we go. And then we also need to modify our electrical distribution settings. So in here, we'll create another distribution system. We'll call it 208 slash 122 pole. So this is where the US terminology gets confusing, is that even though it's two pole, it's still called single phase. And we change this to three wire, and so that's two hots and a neutral. That's where that terminology for three wires comes from. And then we'll make the line to line voltage 208 and the line to the ground 120. And then we'll associate that with these three panels. Go ahead and tell this one that it's the 12208. So that's the three phase distribution. And now we can connect each of these individual panels to that main panel. So we'll go ahead and do that one by one. Alrighty, and now just to look to make sure everything looks the way we expect. We're going to look at first, if we look at the panel schedule here, we'll see that we've got all the A, B, and C columns here, but you see each of those panels were connected with just two of the poles. If we look at the way that the panel schedule template is defined, we can find it. I'm sorry, added a template is what I wanted. You'll see here that there's an option where for single phase panels in this circuit table area that we're going to hide the third phase column for a single phase. Again, single phase in the US means a phase to phase connection. It can also mean a, a phase to neutral connection, but when we're talking about distribution, it's typically a phase to phase connection. So we don't actually need to change anything. It was already configured the way we want in the out of the box template. So now if I create my panel schedule for one of these guys, you'll see that I have just column A and B. Now you can come in here into the template and modify these to whatever you want. If you want this to be A and C or R and Y or whatever uh, convention is necessary 
um, but you can change those here. So now just to circuit things up to see that things work the way that we we're hoping. We'll just start connecting receptacles to the panel. And then we'll verify that the panel is only getting load on phase A and phase B. So you can see here that I created six circuits. Four of them ended up on phase A, two ended up on phase B. And if we look at the panel schedule, we see the same, that loads are only in A and B, there's no C column. One thing that's odd, and I've, I've logged this a long time ago, it just hasn't been a priority, is that on this single phase representation, the shading in these cells doesn't work out right. So that's a, if that's a big deal, let us know. Um, but historically, that I don't know that a customer has ever reported this, but we do um, have it logged. It just isn't a priority. So you can see that the loads are coming across on just phase A and phase B, just like the property is indicated. And similarly, I can look at this schedule. You see that just A and B. And then if we were to continue loading, you'll see that that first panel phases are going to, uh, the loads are going to be on A and B. For the second panel, same thing, A and B. And then for the third panel, it's going to be phases C and A. So hopefully that helps. Um, most of this, as I showed, was all out of the box content, um, just with a slight modification to the uh, loaded family uh, to make it a 208 volt two pole panel, and then adding the distribution system for the 208-122 pole.